Ladies and gentlemen, I can talk about the fact that um, if I want to give my kid his first shotgun, transfer that to him, uh, I shouldn't have to pay $50 twice, 25 bucks each, $50 total to transfer to give my son a shotgun to go hunting. I can talk about the fact that the FOID is a completely redundant system, as my, my colleague from um, the Quad City has mentioned. The fact that you were, went through some background check three years ago says absolutely nothing about your status today. Um, the national background check system does it. When you go to Walmart or Rural King or wherever you go to buy that firearm, there's a call-in check for, to see what your status is today. Are you a criminal? Is there a, uh, is there a restraining order against you? That happens right there at the point of sale at the retailer. So the FOID is a completely redundant situation. I'll tell you what is real. What is real is the fact that people every day who aren't allowed to have guns in this state are shooting people. If you go to my Facebook page in the three weeks leading up to what happened in Champaign last week, I posted story after story of previously convicted felon shooting someone. I posted a story of a felon out on bond for a gun crime who was arrested for what else? A gun crime. How about the bill I filed three years ago that says no bond if you shoot somebody? How about that bill? How about that bill? So instead of doing that, we're going to take away rights from honest, law-abiding citizens, all in defense of a FOID system that is completely redundant because it already happens at the retail sale when you go to buy a gun anyway. In fact, I hesitate to even bring this up, but the, um, the shooter from last week in Champaign, three felons, he wasn't entitled. He wasn't entitled to have a gun, but he had one anyway. But by all means, let's burden everybody else with this problem. So here's what it comes down to. We have a philosophical difference. That's okay, that's why we're all here. That's why we're elected here. I never paid much attention to this until someone tried to break into my house. And I didn't have any, I had a German Shepherd. That was it, my wife and I had a German Shepherd. It was before we had kids. And you know what? Right after that, I went out and got a Floyd card. Took 60 days or whatever it was. Hell, it's up to nine months, year. I had somebody last week, 18 months, waiting for their Floyd card. But it comes down to this, and I appreciate your answer. I appreciate your honesty. If I throw an apple at your head, you don't need a damn law to tell you to duck. It's instinctual. It is natural law. You are born in this state, in this country, with the right to defend yourself and your family. There is no law that we can make to somehow force someone to do something that is unnatural. If someone swings at you, you duck and swing back. If someone comes after you, your family, you protect your family. You protect them. And yet we pretend every day here that somehow by doing all these things against honest, law-abiding citizens, that they're going to pay the $50 now to give their kid a, their first shotgun to go hunting with, that somebody got broken into is going to wait nine months, that they're going to comply with some new system that the state police will come up with at some point in time in the future when the state police have had years to fix the current system and they haven't got that right. And oh, by the way, the bill doesn't say anything about the fee. Is it 50 bucks? Is it more than 50 bucks? Is it free? I don't know. doesn't say anything about it. It doesn't stop them from putting a fee in. But it comes down to this, folks. You, each of you in this chamber, each of the folks back home watching this has a right to defend yourself in your home from any threat. And why do we keep burdening that constitutional right given to us by our forefathers? It's a matter of natural law. Some things, instinct, basic human instinct that you're born with, Transcend 
man-made, woman-made law. They transcend it. And I'll tell you what, when that person's knocking down your door, whatever you got, in my case, I had a German shepherd. Whatever you got, you'll find a knife. Maybe it's a gun. Maybe you got your FOIA card. I don't know. But you'll do anything to protect yourself and your family. And we should not be placing this kind of burden on law-abiding citizens. And we damn well shouldn't be doing when we're letting felons run the streets shooting people. Thank you, Mr. President.